so as you know android 12 beta 5 is already released for some of the devices maybe for pixel devices and yes it's as available as a port room for redmi note 8 users if you're a redmi note 8 user or redmi note 8 user you can install this build on your device it's based on android version 12 it's beta 5 still no stable release yet we are waiting for the stable release but right now it's beta 5 but is it great enough is it good enough to use as your daily driver in the terms of performance yes it is it's just great one of the best ever things i've ever tried on especially on redmi note 8 we're going to talk about the performance related things later on it's based on android version 12 as you can see easter egg is already added here the default ui default wallpaper this is the default ui which you get here you can theme the icons of course the option is present in settings if you go for it in the terms of quick settings panels of course no major changes in quick settings panel and if you want to take a look at android 12 beta 5 changes I made a specific video on that so make sure to check out that you will get that video in the i button you can go and check it out I got some this kind of stuck issues in app drawer which is not a big deal by the way it depends upon how you use your device but overall the performance is actually quite smooth I tried checking out the CPU throttling test and the result was quite impressive by the way let me just talk about the CPU throttling test after this thing that you can see no CPU thermal throttling detected this is this was actually unexpected but this is the result which we get here after checking out after checking for approximately five minutes it looks quite good and yes the real performance is also something like that if you use it you will definitely get to know some things are still laggy, like the permission manager and some app installation package uh, permission manager things and app installation both of these things are still laggy which I saw is not a big deal if you don't use these things much but sometimes you have these things of course it's beta updates so yes you can check out these things at a glance etc the default launcher has these features and i have discussed these features in android 12 beta 5 review you can go and check it out if you want to in the app drawer let me show you one thing if you swipe up and down you can see the search bar is now something different going on here we have the rounded search bar if i swipe up or scroll up here you'll see different kind of like this different kind of search bar looks quite different here something is something is different here always show keyboard or if you don't want to show the keyboard the option is available here you can customize this if you want to this is actually quite good and the thing which you also get in the miui launcher i think so yes this is the new update you also get a miui launcher by default you don't get any kind of camera pre-installed in this port but you can install other cameras if you want to i tried installing one camera from the google play store you can also give it a try if you want to which is working good but unfortunately gcam is not working for me by the way i haven't tried the gcam which i always use on my videos i tried nikita gcam and this is what it is showing me as you can see camera keeps stopping it's not even working the new permission manager is like this you can see this change to precise location only this time and keep approximate location this is a very interesting thing which you get in android 12 by the way if you go and check it out you will see these things it is not available in android 11 or in any other version so yes it's something really good also on the best thing which is fixed here is the safety net status so yes finally the safety status does not have any kind of issues if you go and check it out the safety status the safety status is passing my device is considered as pixel 5a because it's a port from pixel 5a i haven't rooted my device through magisk by the way if you root your device you need to hide that from settings but if you don't root it if you simply want to use it without root then the safety status does not have any kind of issues you'll be able to use it and of course if you want to use it as a daily you can but still i will suggest you to wait for some more time because it's still in beta stage you might face some bit of other bugs of course it's a ported room by the way in the terms of battery usage etc the graph is something different i'm using it from whole day right now maybe it's more than six to seven hours continuously using didn't got any kind of major bugs but yes some bugs are still there if we move on to the wallpapers and style section you can simply see you can enable the themed icons dark theme customize the wallpaper the default wallpaper is something really good by the way security as expectedly contains the fingerprint lock but does not contain face lock it also doesn't contain the app lock because it's not a custom room by the way a normal stock ported oem port from pixel 5a gestures include some quick tab and etc gestures which as expected like the previous build 
it's not working for me maybe it's just in my case but yes this is what actually as you can see right now from the video it's just not working for me i tried tapping double tap quick tap everything what i've tried so far it's just showing me no response so yes this is the thing which i got here but for this not a big deal i don't think so it is a major issue because this is not a custom room dealing you can you can see this is a port room so you can expect these kind of things in a port room in my opinion and there are the other options to have to check phone double tap etc Let, let's just check out the double tap double tap to check phone i don't think so it's working here if i go and check it out yes as expectedly it's not working maybe try changing kernel might work for you but right now it's not working with the default things last but not the least it also includes let me show you you get some xiaomi pass options yes you have the xiaomi pass included here you can go and customize this if you want to Everything else I've already shown you, install the ROM, reboot, you're good to go. This is all from today's video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share this video. Goodbye. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air.